Nin explains the rules of indoor lacrosse. Indoor lacrosse, more commonly known as box lacrosse, is a game that's usually played on an ice rink with the ice covered up with turf. The surface is usually about 200 feet by 85 feet. Indoor lacrosse is played with two teams of 18, with six players on the surface at any one time. They consist of one goaltender and five runners. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score a goal, a player must use his lacrosse stick and shoot the ball into the goal. The ball must completely cross the goal line and the shooting player must not step into the crease for a goal to count. Goals are 4 foot 9 inch wide and 4 feet high and the goal crease is 9 foot 3 inches. The game starts with a face off. Once a team has possession of the ball, they have up to 30 seconds to shoot the ball towards the opposing goaltender. Failure to shoot the ball within this time results in a shot clock violation and the other team is awarded possession of the ball. You can pass the ball directly between teammates, bounce pass to them or cradle the ball and run with it. The idea is to set up in good position to be able to shoot the ball towards the goal. The opposing team will try and stop you by cross checking, body checking or stick checking. They will try and take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. The game is played in 4 15 minute quarters for a total playing time of 60 minutes. Highest score at the end of time wins. Now if you watch my rules of ice hockey video, you'll realise that these two sports are very similar. And like ice hockey, indoor lacrosse is filled with things you can and cannot do. Should you break one of these rules, you will serve a time penalty, leaving your team with one less player and your opponents with a man advantage. The team with the man advantage is known as the extra man offence or man up. This makes it easier to score a goal as there is one less player to defend the net. The team with the man in the penalty box is known as man down and they usually defend like crazy until the time of the penalty expires. The length of time of penalty depends on the infraction made. These minor infractions result in 2 minute minor penalties. When a goal is scored by an extra man team, the penalty time is cut short and the player is let out of the penalty box. These major infractions result in 5 minute major penalties. Unlike minor penalties, a major penalty can only end when the time of the penalty runs out or if the other team scores 3 goals. Misconduct penalties result in you being ejected from the game. Two majors equals a misconduct. That sounds easy enough but there's a few other rules you'll need to understand before going to a game. For example, 8 second violation. If a team with possession of the ball fails to advance the ball past midfield within 8 seconds, this is an 8 second violation and the other team is awarded the ball. 3 man down. By the rules of indoor lacrosse, a team must have at least 3 runners on the surface. If a team already has 2 players in the penalty box and is assessed a third penalty, a penalty shot will be awarded instead of taking a third man out of the game. Penalty shot. A penalty shot is awarded for a 3 man down penalty or to an offensive player if an opponent has unfairly obstructed a legitimate chance to score. On a penalty shot, the shooter starts from the centre circle and is only allowed one shot towards the goaltender. Even if there is a rebound, he's only allowed one shot. Any shot that goes in counts as a goal. Sudden death overtime. There are no ties in box lacrosse, so overtime periods are played to determine the winner. These periods usually last a maximum of 5 minutes and the first team to score a goal wins. That's a lot to take in but as you watch or play indoor lacrosse, the rules will become clear. If you have found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there, but in the meantime, enjoy box lacrosse.